decisions. Another area um, that can cause conflict and be hard um, is the area of sex and sexual intimacy. Um, even for folks that um, are uh, sexually active uh, before marriage, um, sometimes because of all the, the newness and the, the transition, um, uh, uh, the area of, of sexual intimacy, physical intimacy, can, can be really, really tough. Um, let me, for folks, uh, for couples that have uh, chosen to wait before um, marriage, um, this can be really hard if you, if you don't get off to a good start um, because you can develop like a negative association with coming together, especially, so if any emotional hurt or disappointment or frustration um, or even uh, physical challenges like uh, physical pain with uh, intercourse, um, that, that can set up this really uh, tentative and um, um, fearful, anxious, um, uh, anxiety uh, around coming together um, uh, for physical intimacy. And it's hard to talk about. Um, so I encourage you to um, make agreements about who, who to talk, talk with. Uh, some some uh, guys can feel kind of embarrassed or insecure about their wife talking to her best friend or someone at church um, in small group um, about the challenges in this area. So if you guys are going to talk about uh, this with someone, um, uh, tr tr try to come to an agreement so that you both feel safe, um, s feeling safe. Um, uh, uh, when, when sharing uh, about this area is, is really important. And there's specialists here in town, uh, marriage counselors that, that can really help uh, in this area too. Uh, the other area um, to, to mention is, is the area of stress and negative emotions. I think this is one of the real key, one of the real hardest skills um, that couples deal with is, it, it, but it's essential is learning how to support um, your spouse when they're having a hard time emotionally, um, when they're having a bad day. Uh, a lot of conflict happens when there's poor listening or communication. Um, and it's related to identity, like what role am I gonna play uh, in your life? How am I gonna support you? Um, and you know, how are we going to communicate? Um, what's what's your problem? What's my problem? And what's a we problem? Uh, what's yours? What's mine? What's ours? And um, one of the challenges uh, with young couples, I, I had this is um, I, I had this desire for for my wife to be happy, um, but the the truth of uh, uh, of the matter, the, the, one of the realities of, of life is that she's not always going to be happy. And it's not necessarily my job to make her happy. Um, and so uh, th th there's more to be said uh, about that. Um, but, but one of the things with stress um, is, is learning how to come alongside each other um, when, when stress and, and discouragement um, uh, happen. Um, and w one of the things that can t to watch for is when you're under stress, um, you can uh, start to lose empathy for each other. Uh, one, of, one of the couples that I worked with, they said it so well, is when they started struggling with different things with work and, and with with life and with each other is that they lose they lost the ability to console each other and uh, so it, one of the things uh, with getting off to a good start and and dealing with conflict and dealing with issues early 
and nipping things in the bud is protecting your ability to to be a supportive safe person for each other and that's one of the ironies with uh, getting together and, and living together sometimes is that um, when you start to struggle in relationship and in marriage is that the person that you your best friend that you turn to um, uh, for for help for comfort and for safety they sometimes become the source of stress um, and um, w without grace and forgiveness and patience and um, and love covering a multitude of sins um, the we can easily become our spouse's enemy um, and so that, that that's the thing I want to end on is um, you, there, there's there's thousands of decisions dozens of decisions to make and there's going to be lots of mistakes and missteps along the way um, so uh, s uh, starting each day uh, as a new day um, re renewing your commitment um, to each other um, being being gracious and, and merciful and forgiving uh, is is essential uh, to um, to not let hurt and distance and um, bitterness um, enter in and and drive you guys apart. Um, so, if you uh, got married this summer, I hope you're getting off to a good start. I hope this year, uh, despite how challenging it might be, I hope it'll it'll lay a great foundation for the rest of your lives um, maybe you're watching this and you've been married for a while I hope it's encouraged you to uh, address some of these areas in your life uh, um, feel free to ask questions or give your feedback in the comments and um, th th there's a lot that I didn't say today and so I'll probably either write more or do more video blogs. Take care, guys. Have a great summer.